you're leaving color on the table with your laser projector and you don't even know it. Last week we talked about the simple color tune, but let's dive into the advanced way to color tune a laser projector. This is a Spectrum 33, which has a green OPSL and a yellow OPSL plus blue and red diode, which complicates color tuning a little bit, but it makes it the perfect piece to do this demonstration on. So let's dive in and do the color tune. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the projector settings and go to the color settings tab. We're gonna change this from RGB to the advanced mode. The first thing is gonna be the fade curve for each channel of your laser. The second part of it is going to be tuning the hues themselves so that we use the correct blend of the colors for each hue in the spectrum. So here's how you first color tune the curve. We're gonna use the test pattern, the new color test. These four circles here represent four lines on these value. And the goal is to make, in real life, the brightness of these circles be exactly the same. To do one color at a time, we'll recolor the test frame with this here. So the next step is to grab this point here and crush them all the way down. Then we can use our arrow keys to move these colors up and then look at the real life output to try and match the brightness of all of the circles with each other. Once you've done this, we're gonna change to the grayscale test pattern. And we're gonna take the bottom value that we have from before, and we're gonna bring it up slowly to reveal more of the circles on the end. Now that we found that value, we're gonna change from the five points in this curve to the nine points in this curve and take our zero value and crush it down to zero. Do this for all of the rest of the colors. So now that we've done our curves, it's time to train the hues. So the next test pattern we're gonna use is our medium test pattern. Then what we're gonna do is every circle in this piece are every 30 degrees of hue. And we're gonna add every 30 degrees of hue that we don't have. So in this case, I'm gonna add 30 because between zero and 60 is 30. And we're gonna add all of those hues. Each one of these values should probably have at least one of the color channels at full to maximize brightness. So for orange, we're definitely gonna use all of our yellow and we're gonna use all of our red. Follow this pattern along and do all of the colors. Now that we've hue tuned all of these, our dark colors will look correct and our light colors will look correct as well. If we go to our all color channels, you'll be able to see all of the colors have their correct dark, light, and all of those fades. The one thing you might need to check after that is your white balance. In this case, this balance near the end has a little bit of color issues. So what we need to do is we need to go to at least our green and probably our yellow channels and adjust some of the bottom end here to clean that up. That way it doesn't look as purple and we get a little bit of a better output. Now that you've done all that, you have a perfectly balanced color projector, you have unique hues, and you can make your extra special OPSL heads work beautifully for you. Yeah, you know, you could do all that work or you could just, if you have a quant, you could press the color balance button and it would just, it would just do it for you. But that's beside the point. Not everybody has a quant projector.